of my years of kiting, I've, I've been kiting for quite a bit now, and uh, I've met a lot of uh, top kiters in the world that have come through to Cook Islands. And they've always said that uh, Aitutaki is like uh, the best place in the world to be kiting. And uh, I was a bit uh, skeptic about that because, well, I'm from here, you get used to the place. But they, um, when you hear it from a lot of kiters, especially the top kiters in the world, um, you start to think, yeah, they're, they're possi possibly right. Over the last three years I've um, been working uh, with different stakeholders in Manu River and I'm here at the Manu River kite surfing event. This is my third year attending and uh, naturally I've come back three times now because I've had an awesome time and uh, enjoyed the beautiful settings of Waititaki and the Cook Islands. Uh, it's only a three hour flight from New Zealand so it's pretty much on my back door and a great escape from the winter to come and enjoy the great kite surfing um, arena out here in Aitutaki uh, at Honeymoon Island and Maina and uh, it's, uh, it's hard to stay home in the winter cold when you can uh, come over here and enjoy a uh, beautiful warm setting, beautiful warm people and uh, great kite surf conditions. Manu River has uh, been growing each year and uh, from humble beginnings uh, now uh, you know, affiliated with the KTA uh, we can see some professional and uh, world renowned um, contest organisation coming on board to this beautiful setting and uh, bringing sort of a world class standard to, uh, to Aitutaki and to the Cook Islands so that's attracted me back here to enjoy the competition. Uh, I was lucky enough to win last year, uh, not so lucky this year. I'll be back next year for sure and have another shot at that title. <laughs>